Okay, this case is called breast fat necrosis traumatic. And in this slide, I think you can recognize the fact that uh, much of it, or at least uh, some of it, still looks like relatively normal fat. Here is a fairly uh, typical adipose-like uh, tissue, but uh, you can also see that there are other things going on in this fat which generally look like inflammatory changes, and they're characterized by three things. First, you could see general inflammatory cell infiltrates within the fat. Secondly, you see an abundance of uh, giant cells, the typical multinucleate giant cells, very much looking like foreign body granuloma cells, because that's exactly what they are. And the third feature of fat necrosis, which we should have no trouble finding fairly soon, are these macrophages here that are laden with a golden pigment typical of uh, hemosiderin because it is hemosiderin. So this is a classical appearance for fat necrosis in which you see foreign body granulomas, giant cells, and hemosiderin within macrophages. The usual uh, most common cause for fat necrosis is trauma, either surgical trauma or external trauma. And the uh, basic uh, pathophysiologic process is that trauma to fat tissue sets up changes which the body reacts to by creating foreign body granulomas to eat up all the ruptured uh, fat tissue. And uh, the macrophages gobble up the hemosiderin. So here is a giant cell. These are generally foreign body granulomas here. You can see a variety of inflammatory cells, chiefly macrophages and lymphocytes, but I'm sure you could find a neutrophil, which this probably is. And you can see some hemosiderin or extensive hemosiderin within macrophages too. Classic appearance for fat necrosis.